So in this video, I am flattening the spoil board. The purpose of this is to completely level the surface to the machine. You can't see it in here, but there was a, a slight hump in the middle, and um, the front was actually the lowest point. So what this does is it levels everything to the exact same distance from the machine, from the, from the router. We'll slow it back down here and give you a little bit of a close-up. I set the machine to mill two hundredths of an inch, so 0 0.020 inches. In the front it took that, in the middle and on the sides it took just slightly more than that, like maybe another hundredth of an inch or so was how much it was off. One of the things that I've been pleasantly surprised by with this machine is how precise it actually is. When you make an adjustment that's in the hundredths or thousandths even of an inch, it does exactly what you tell it to do. We'll speed this back up. This entire cut took about 17 minutes. Um, the speed is set within the software um, and you, you choose the speed based on the size of the bit and the material that you're cutting, how soft or hard it is. I actually went pretty conservative on this and went slower than I needed to, um, but if you go too fast it can cause problems with the bit. You can break bits. If you go too slow the spinning bit can actually heat up and cause burn marks in the material that you're cutting. This is a, a one inch bit that's spinning um, and then you've got overlap settings that you choose. Um, generally the, the bigger, the larger the bit, the slower you need to go and the smaller or thinner that the bit is, you take the speed up a little bit. It also depends how deep you're cutting.